All right, lads, welcome back to Slop Central. Yes, of course, we are back on the dev server taking a look at the MiG-21 Bison. thought I'd give you some uh, realistic, um, well, I guess a plane content. I've not really done any plane stuff in a while because top tier uh, realistic makes me want to jump off a building. But anyway, the MiG-21 Bison, it is quite a rare kind of vehicle. It's obviously a MiG-21 coming to the British tech tree. It's coming in rank 8, so you will be able to unlock the entire British tech tree with this plane. Now, when this tank, oh, bloody hell, when this plane first came to the dev server, I'm pretty sure it was battery rating 12.3, but now they've dropped it down to 11.7, which does mean it is going to be at least usable now, in my opinion. So what exactly is a MiG-21 Bison? Well, it's basically a modernization program done by the Indian government. I don't really like it though because it makes it look Irish and of course Britain and Ireland not really best of friends. But anyway, it gets an upgraded radar, the Copo Copio 21. I'm not familiar with this radar, but it does get a search mode, a track while scan, a pulse Doppler pulse Doppler track while scan, as well as a head various head-on modes. So it does have a pretty good upgraded radar system. We also get a helmet mounted display for our pilot, which does allow you to make some very spicy off bar sight shots. We also have a pretty decent um, RWR as well, actually. But most importantly, this thing does get the R-73 infrared guided missiles. You can also take the R-27T and the R-27R. Notice though that this plane does not get the ER. But in my opinion, you probably are better still using the R27Ts, the infrared guided missile version of this plane. The MiG-21, despite this getting a upgraded radar, it's not really a long range BVR style system, well, plane really. You're probably better sticking low and just spamming IR missiles. That is pretty much the meta anyway at the minute. If people are flying low, then it's going to be quite hard to kill them with your your Fox 1 missiles really, the meta is basically just staying low and getting below 100 meters and then using the, well, abusing the multipath at the, at the minute really. So I'd stick with the IR R27Ts and the two R73Es, I guess. So because both, because all four of your missiles are going to be IR, you can slave them with your helmet mounted display as well. So this is going to be a pretty decent dogfighting plane at 11.7. Take that with a pinch of salt though, I'm obviously not an expert at top tier ERB. I don't really play too much of it anymore, I've kind of fallen out of love with Earth to Earth Jet Combat really. I will still give it a go though. But anyway, at 11.7, it is going to be the best grinder for Britain. This is absolute piece of shite. Harrier FRS1 is pretty decent. Oh, I do forget one of the downsides of this point is going to be the 60 large countermeasures. 60 countermeasures is it's usable but it's not really a lot i'd prefer to have a little bit more i don't think we can take any sort of flow pods either you can quite funnily take three drop tanks if you really want to fly i don't know fly for 100 miles 100 150 miles i don't know why you'd ever want to do that we do also get the cab uh, yes cab 500 kr these are basically TV guided, dumb, well not dumb bombs, but they're basically TV guided bombs. Why you'd want to use this thing over like the Harrier GR7, which gets the AGM 65Gs. I guess it has been put up to 12.0 uh, now in ground, yes. I don't really know why you'd go ground attacking in the MiG-21 though. But anyway, let's take it into a test drive. Oh, before I do that, we we'll compare it to like the MiG-23 MLD. So this thing has a similar flight model, kind of. And it gets kind of similar, the same missiles as well. Except this thing only gets the R60M. But you still do get the R74T and Rs. So it's going to be kind of similar to the Soviet MiG-23 ML. Obviously, this is going to have a lot better high altitude performance and better turning due to the sweep wing nature. As my dog is absolutely slamming his water bowl at the minute, getting some nice slavery water down his throat just took him out on a walk but anyway let's take it into a little bit of a test drive or test flight sorry i'm still used to doing ground content so the mig 21 bison is going to be coming in at around 70 pounds around 80 dollars 
So as you can see, if we look at the radar, you get the search pulse Doppler, you get the track while scan, pulse Doppler head on, tra track while scan head on, and then you get search pulse Doppler GTM. I'm not really too sure what GTM is. So if you know what it is, leave a comment down in the comments. That shouldn't have said that. Leave a comment down below, I guess. I think you also get the track while scan GTM as well. But again, I don't know what GTM is. Ground targeting mode, maybe. I don't really know. It'd be rather strange if the Mi-21 had a ground targeting radar. But anyway, we switch to our R27. RT, rather. We can kind of slave it. I don't think we're going to get a lot quite yet at this range with an IR missile. Especially against a MiG-15, which has a relatively low IR signature. At least by top tier standards. But we can kind of slave it like that, as you can see. Nothing really special for 11.7 but for a mig 21 it has been quite upgraded substantially and for an 11.7 plane not too sure we can get a shot at this room oh we can i'd be surprised if that hits though because it's quite a high off bar sight shot the missile is pulling a hell of a lot of aoa there can't really see the oh, is it gonna hit i doubt it it's kind of equalized its momentum there the MiG-15 that got away, sadly. It's still hanging in there. It's not going to hit, though. So we do also get a CCIP for our gun, as well as the rocket pods that we can take along, but the rockets aren't that particularly effective, in my opinion. This is going to be a purely uh, to work. Oh, it is a track while scan ground, as you can see there. That's pretty cool. Not sure why they added that. We'll have to ask the Indians in the comments why they added a ground targeting mode for a MiG-21. But I have figured that out all by myself, relatively speaking. So, yeah. It's going to be a decent little plane. Is it worth $80 or €80? Euros? Probably not, at least by my standards. But it's your money, lads. If you want to pre-order and get a Indian MiG-21 to go with your Indian Jaguar IS, then go ahead. So anyway, lads, thank you very much for watching. Once again, more some dev server slot. I will recommence with my actual in-depth quote-unquote reviews when the update goes live. I am doing a USA Tetri review, kind of like I did with my German, Soviet, British one. I'm going over the American tank one. That's going to be quite a few months off yet because I'm finding it quite hard to struggle. But anyway, lads, thank you very much for watching. I wouldn't really recommend buying the MiG-21 base even though it is the best premium. I'd wait for it to go on sale. British Air Tech Tree isn't really that good anyway, so you're not really missing out. I'd save you money. Anyway, lads, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.